guys. Me again, look at Dollar here in the flesh. Anyways, yeah, and you, and I guess you, and I can guess that by the title of the screen, you know what I'm gonna do. That's right, I'm gonna be reacting to a video by Rosie the Cutie 1995. Yeah, <laughs> love this Rosie adventure model. And anyways, it's gonna be her latest project, Homeless Engines. And from what I've seen in the preview. Is about Edward and Philip, and I think it takes place after a shed for Edward. So I guess we're gonna see how this boy here, oh, Rick, this boy right here, deals with him. Well, if only I, 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 I get out a hula model, but I don't have him in Adventures, just wooden, and plus his back home. But anyways, <clears throat> apparently it's supposed this video was supposed to be a Christmas project, but hey. No better time than the present, am I right? <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna be reacting to that today. And, and don't worry, I I asked Kirsty if I can react to this before doing it, and she agreed. So thanks, Kir thank you for Kirsty for Kirsty, Kirsty for letting me doing this. Sorry, like I kept botching up your name there, but anyways. So let's start this in five, four, three, two, one. KWE Productions presents A story inspired by the Shed for Edward. I love the music, by the way. Based on the true events of being homeless. Ooh, this is gonna be deep. A story written by Rosie Cutie, 1995, the list for Productions 5784. Shoutouts to YouTube, Homeless Engines. Okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up now in case it's necessary. Edward the Blue Engine has recently moved out of Tidmouth Shed so that he can be closer to his branch line, which is near Wellsworth Station. But Edward isn't alone when he goes to sleep at night, for Philip, the little box cab diesel, lives there too. Philip can be a little chatterbox sometimes and keep Edward up until dawn, but yeah. Philip tries to be as quiet as he can so that Edward can have his sleep. The two have gotten along well and they are both very happy to be sharing a shed together. That's good. It was Christmas Eve morning in the island of Sodor. Everywhere and everything was covered in a thick blanket of snow. I love the music that here. That didn't stop Philip. He was very excited. Oh, my! Oh, Philip. Edward is not amused. Jump. Oops, sorry, Edward. I'm just... So excited! Excited for Christmas Day, eh? Oh, you bet I am. Oh, I think my motor is going to explode. We're going to have so much fun, Edward. You, me, singing Christmas carols, having presents. That's very nice, Philip. Is that poor? But you know, Christmas isn't about mm. presents or singing carols, you know. Very true, it's Edward. Not? Very true. Then what is it then? It's about celebrating something more special. A Ooh, greater gift Thomas, of hope. Thomas love, and the Magic Railroad and music. Peace for the world. He wants to help going. others see the light in life. The presents and decorations may be a little extra special to the holiday, but it's the love and care we share to our families and friends. And that's most important, Philip. Philip? Jingle bells, Percy Smells, Toby! Eddie is not amused. No, he isn't. It was soon late in the afternoon and Edward and Philip had finished decorating Wellsworth Station. Everything looked so magical with the tinsel shimmered on the shed walls and the fairy lights shone brightly like little stars in the night. Oh, Edward! That is so wonderful! Edward? Hmm? Oh. Yes, it certainly does. Something wrong, Edward? It's that poor man, Philip. He's completely homeless. He has no family or friends around him to give him kindness. Poor guy. He's so sad. What does homeless mean? Um, I think you wouldn't quite understand, Philip. You can ask me when you're a little older. A little older? Why? I'm 
just don't want you to get the wrong end of the stick, Philip. I'm not a baby, you know. I can understand some things. I think. Well, mm -hmm. since it comes to that, did you understand anything I said about the true meaning of Christmas this morning? Uh... Presents? No, Philip. <sighs> you really need to pay more attention. I do too. As Philip rolled crossly into the shed, he bashed against the buffers a little too hard and honked his horn with anger. And then... It happens. Uh oh. Philip! Get out of there! The snow's caving in! <laughs> Philip quickly rolled out of the shed just in time. The two engines watched in horror as the heavy snow tumbled through the roof, crashing to the ground. Blistering buffers. Uh. Oopsie. The fat controller was about to head home to sort his Christmas Day dinner, but when he heard the news, he went immediately to Wellsworth. Oh dear, oh dear, how did this happen? Well, the thing is, sir, it... It was the wind, sir! What? I see. Hmm. Well, the pack won't be able to repair the roof until after Christmas. After Christmas? I'm sorry, you two. You'll have to find somewhere else to sleep for tonight. I'll ring up Miss Jenny and ask her for it to clear the rubble after Christmas and then arrange some workers to mend the roof again. Now I must get home and prepare the Christmas dinner. It's my turn to stuff the turkey. Ho, ho, ho. And the oh, fat controller him. left. What do we do now, Edward? Oh, this scene. We shall have to find a shed for tonight. We? There's no we, Philip. Only you. You destroyed our shed! I, 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 I didn't mean to do it. I'm so... I've had enough of you for one day, Philip. I really like the face First, I didn't hear. you didn't listen to me when I tried explaining some things to you. And two, hmm. your temper had cost us the shed. My shed. I mean, I understand that he was angry here, but you, he's being a little just tough on Philip. Just leave me alone, Edward. Aww. You don't mean that, do you? I do. Go away Aww. now, Edward. Uh, Poor Philip. Fine. I'll go find somewhere else to sleep by myself then. Philip stormed out of Wellsworth leaving a grumpy Edward behind. Oh! Grumpy Eddie! Philip felt so hurt from Edward's outburst that he passed from the side. Out of the way. Then this way, I won't be a nuisance to everyone. All he could do now was watch other engines rolling past him. Oh, don't mind me. Just... Letting you go first. <laughs> Busy engines come first. Uh, huh? <laughs> ah! Hey! Stop that! Oh! That's cold! Ah! Poor Philip. Oh, what a silly game that is. I don't fancy another beating by a snowball. It's no just not does. nice. Yeah. Oh. It soon started to snow very lightly. The sun was going down, making the snow covered island sparkle like glitter. Don't stop now. You've got your homes to go to. <laughs> hey. Oh. Philip? A voice echoed through the snow. It was Percy. He was on his way back from delivering the last bit of Christmas mail. What are you doing sitting on that siding? It's freezing out here, and why aren't you warming up at Wellsworth Sheds? Oh, just, just letting engines g go past while I'm sitting here, waiting for the points to change. 
but Philip paused and almost burst into tears. Oh, oh Percy! Me and Edward don't have a home this Christmas! No home? What do you mean? I was angry at Edward earlier. He said I wouldn't understand some of the things he said about being homeless. Then the roof of Wells of Shed collapsed, and now we have nowhere to stay tonight. Mm. Now I understand what Edward meant about being homeless. Mm. All alone, not being special, yeah. no loved ones near me. Edward hates me so much after all this. Stupid little me. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But it's Christmas Eve. Friends should be together. I know. Oh, Philip. I'm... I'm really sorry. Light bulb. Why don't you come stay with me at Tidmouth Sheds, Philip? I'm sure the other engines will be happy Light to have you over bulb. for the holidays. Really? Of course. It's much better than being out here in the cold and dark. And besides, Christmas is about being kind and helpful to others. Oh, Percy. Thank you, Percy. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, Edward was back to square one, trying to find somewhere to sleep for the night. for Edward all over again. <laughs> Christmas edition. Oh. He went all over the island, but he had no luck. Oh, botheration. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Philip, I hope you're all right. At any rate, I believe you must be having better luck than I am. Mm, I guess he, guess he does. Evening, everyone. We have a guest sleeping over here tonight. Philip! What's he doing here? You should be at Wellsworth Sheds, not here. Philip, is something wrong? Where was he, Percy? Well, um... I found him on a siding. He says he hasn't got a roof over him anymore. Yes, it's true. The shed roof collapsed, and it won't be mended until after Christmas. Plus, Edward snapped at me, and I, I wanted to say sorry to him, but he wouldn't let me. It's not like Edward to act like this, especially on Christmas. Well, um, uh, I'm gonna hate myself for saying this, but uh, I feel so sorry for you, Philip. So do I. Well, since tonight's Christmas Eve, you Change can stay as long as you'd like, little Philip. Once the roof of Wildsworth Sheds is repaired, of course. With the wow. Passion. Thanks, Gordon. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you can be a big softy sometimes, you know that? Oh. <laughs> Big softy. That was really kind of you, Gordon. Hmm. Mm. This is why I love Christmas. Being kind to one another and being close to your friends. Friends? But what about Edward? It's getting snowy out there. Not now. 
Oh, I should have brought my snow plow with me. Oh, oh, oh it's getting so cold. Oh. Why would you be concerned about Edward? After what he said to you? I know, but... Hey! <laughs> so sorry I'm late, everyone. Oh, hello, Ooh. Philip. What are you doing this here? Take place I'm staying the here tonight. Right. Well, the shed's roof has collapsed. So Edward's not with you? No. We've fallen out. I thought I saw Edward looking grumpy earlier. He kept saying he has to find a shed, but it seemed he hasn't had any luck yet. I'm sorry about what happened, Philip. I really am. I do hope you two can be friends again. Why are you so late anyway, Henry? I finished early with the flying kipper, but by the time I got here, the snow's getting very thick and the winds have picked up too. I think we have a snowstorm heading our way. <gasps> a snowstorm? Oh, Edward, I hope you found shelter. Henry was right. A snowstorm had indeed rolled across Sodor that night. Snow was falling harder, the wind was fierce and very cold, and poor Edward was stuck in it. I can't, I can't see a thing. Yes. Oh, this is not, not, not good. Uh, uh, this is such a some Christmas. This is turning out to be. Philip. If only I, I didn't yell at you. Uh, I'm surely sorry about all this. I hope you're. Uh, I hope you're still my f f friend. After. I'm so this. sorry. Uh, uh, I hope you're still my friend. Oh, that animation. Wait, what about Edward's crew? Oh, well, I will focus on the small things. <laughs> oh, I hope someone goes on the safe side. The storm is getting worse out there. I hope Edward isn't stuck in it. Uh, that's it! I'm going to look for Edward! Whoa! Hold on, Philip! You can't go out there! Thomas is right! You might get stuck in the snow! But Edward's my friend! It's my fault we haven't got a roof under us at Wellsworth. I want to make things right with him. Philip's right. Friends forgive friends at this time of year, and they can make amends yeah. with it by helping each other. If you want, Philip, I can help you look for Edward, if my driver can get my plow on. Really? That would be great! But there's one more problem. I don't have a snow plow. Oh, I know. There's a spare plow at the end of the sheds, Philip. Oh, thanks, Nia! You ready, Philip? Ready, Percy. Be careful out there. We will. Go, Philip and Percy. Go, Philip and Percy. I wish we could all help Percy and Philip look for Edward. Hmm. Maybe we can help. Besides, Nia, you always say to me, two engines are much better than one, you know. You're right, Thomas. Right, including us helping Philip and Percy, that makes four of us. So let's go and find Edward. Wait, what about the others? Philip, Percy, wait for us. We're all coming with you. You lead the way, Philip. We'll all be behind you. Why would it go on to James and Emily? Right. Edward! 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 <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh dear. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, now no one will find me out here. Uh. Edward! Oh, I can barely see anything. It would freeze on a night like this. Oh, even I'm not used to this weather. You can say that again. Oh, it's bitter cold out here. We can't give up now. Edward! Edward! Nothing. We'll never find him. Come on now, Philip. Would Edward give up if he was looking for you in this storm? No. no Edward would wouldn't. keep on looking for me. And once he does, he would take me home out of the cold. Exactly. And that's what we will do once we find Edward. Yeah. You're Your right. And son love there. It's Christmas too. And Edward shouldn't deserve to be left alone this holiday season. Edward! What? Could that be? Philip? What? If only I had some steam left in me, I could blow my whistle. How? Well, there's only one thing left for me to do. Everyone, stop shouting! Did you hear that? Everyone listened, but all they could hear was the winter wind blowing. Are you sure you heard something, Thomas? I'm sure! It sounded that like someone him. is shouting for help! It's probably the wind playing tricks on you, Thomas. through the storm, but he didn't give up. Edward! It's Philip! Keep calling for me! I'm coming! Help! I'm getting closer. Edward! Help! Dang, he can scream. Where, where is he? Oh, Edward. No, don't give mm. up. Maybe if I can make a wish, then it could come true. I wish. Say something, Edward. Come on. I wish I could find Edward. And I want to tell him that I'm sorry. You're okay, Edward. You must be freezing in there. Well, don't worry. I have some help. Edward! You did it, Philip. You found him. Well done, Philip. We'll soon get you out of the cold in no time. The engine's crew started and digging Edward. the snow away from Edward. Once most of the snow was clear, Edward was given some coal from the steam engines, and Edward's fireman started to build up his fire. Oh, oh that feels so much better. Oh, oh thank you, Edward. 
everyone. You're welcome, Edward. Now let's head back home to Titmuth Sheds. I couldn't agree more. Let's hurry in case another snowfall comes. Oh. Edward? Do you fancy staying with us at Titmuth Sheds for Christmas? Philip? That would be wonderful. Percy and I can share a berth together, and you two can sleep in my berth. What a good idea, Thomas. It certainly is, Thomas. That way, all yeah. of us will be together good for thinking, Christmas. Thomas. Yippee! It was very late by the time they returned. All the engines eventually fell fast asleep. Well, maybe not all of them. Edward, are you awake? <sighs> oh, God. I have now slept. Is there something wrong? I just wanted to say that I'm very sorry about Waldorf Sheds. If I hadn't been such a jerk, we both wouldn't be homeless. And I, I'm sorry too. I really am. I was too hard on you for making you understand some things. And it was also an accident with the shed roof, so it could have happened to anyone. I felt really guilty snapping at you when I was caught in that snowstorm. I... I hope we're... we're still friends. <laughs> of course we are, Edward. We will always be friends. You know what? I don't care if our shed roof is damaged. Home isn't a place. Home is where the heart is. Hey! You're right! Being together with our friends is the best home for me. A few days later, true, true. the Fat Controller had told Edward and Philip to come to Wellsworth Station for a big surprise. Edward and Philip, I'm delighted to announce that Miss Jenny and the pack have finished the new roof for your shed. Wow! It's as good as new! Now you two can go back home again. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir! Edward and Philip really liked their new shed roof. Edward decided to speak up. Philip, you must have been very disappointed about not spending Christmas at Wellsworth on account of the accident with the old roof. To be honest, Edward, I didn't mind it one bit. While we were at Titmus Sheds for Christmas this year, I've now understood that Christmas isn't about presents under the tree or singing Christmas carols. It's about being together with the friends you care about the most. You were right about all of it, Edward. I should have listened to you in the first place. It's okay, Philip. I know that Christmas is over. But it doesn't mean that the decorations can't be taken off just yet. So, I've asked the Fat Controller yeah. to prepare a late Christmas present for you. <laughs> wow! And there's one more thing. Oh my. Oh, Edward! This is wonderful! You're the best! This is it's so... great to be home. <laughs> You're welcome, Philip. After all, home is where the heart is, you know. Bravo, bravo, Kirsty, bravo, Liz, bravo, Joel, bravo for all of you involved in this. Loved this. I had a good moral, good story, good character interactions. All in all, all thumbs up for me. Awesome work, Kirsty. Keep it up. <clears throat> it might be a late Christmas gift, but who 
cares? <laughs> All the better times at the present, like I said. With that being said, this is Luca Dada saying, Merry belated Christmas, everyone. <laughs>